It is looking so nice for Valentine's Day. It really is. Yeah. I mean, we've had Valentine's Days where there have been snowstorms, and that is not Correct. the case this time. <laughs> there could be a couple of flurries out there this morning. You know, I've been checking the observations, the radar showing it. I you know, may or may not be hitting the ground right now. Uh, let's take a look at what's going on here over the next couple of days. So for today, an early passing flurry is a possibility on your Valentine's Day. Plan on it being partly cloudy and near 50 degrees for the afternoon. Really just nice. Tomorrow, uh, got the, uh, the umbrella symbol here because we do have some midday showers. They're light. They're moving pretty quickly, but you know, 11 a.m. noon, somewhere in there. Quick line of showers, breezy and warm through the day tomorrow. Friday is the issue. Gave it the weather impact symbol because we are looking at snow Friday evening. And once the sun goes down, that snow will actually stick. That hasn't happened much this season. As we look at the radar right now, uh, you can see trying to pick up on maybe a sprinkle, maybe a flurry, uh, but I haven't seen the observations of it actually making it down to the ground. So you could see maybe a little bit of drizzle here uh, making its way over top of Columbia Parkway over toward Okeana, maybe a, a little bit of drizzle, some flurries off to the north toward Eaton. And so this morning, a passing flurry chance is a possibility and future cast kind of picks up on it. You can see, you know, maybe a town or two sees a snowflake fly in here during the morning rush, but we'll get some brighter skies this afternoon. We'll head up toward 50. Any dinner plans tonight? Maybe even think about grilling out. It's going to be a, a nice evening. We're going to be close to 50 degrees for Thursday. Clouds are here in the morning. Here's that midday shower chance, and I didn't make tomorrow weather impact day because it really is just a quick passing sprinkle right around lunchtime and then it gets out of here as some cooler air starts to build in and that sets the stage for that Friday snow. Now Friday will be dry all the way through your school day, right? So lunchtime we're looking dry. It's about the four o'clock hour that this next system will start to slide in. Plan on snow showers that initially will melt on contact because we'll be around 40 degrees, but we drop down to freezing as the sun sets, so that will allow that last batch of this to kind of stick to the ground. So snow sticks at or after sunset as temperatures drop. This whole thing gets out of here by about 10 p.m. So that is Friday's snow threat likely to impact the evening commute, especially after the sun goes down. Today, 51 degrees and early flurry, but otherwise a lovely Valentine's Day. Tomorrow, maybe a midday shower, 56. There's your Friday uh, snow chances, and then this allows much colder air to roll in. Check out the weekend highs in the 30s, and yes, a low maybe even down to 18 degrees by Sunday morning. All right, Randy, we'll get through today, and then we'll focus on the potential for that snow. Thank you. UC basketball hosting a top 10 opponent for the second straight game last night and Charlie Clifford has the highlights and the post game reaction in your morning.